That was a lot of information. That was probably like 15, 20 minutes of just backstory and exposition. So, what else have you got for me, Tobias? Excuse me. God damn it, sometimes I've gone off again, haven't I? There with me, Tobias. I'll see you later. Yeah, they've gone off again. You will? If you say so, then it must be true. Damn right. I don't know why it undoes itself sometimes. Okay. Excuse me. There we are. Uh yeah, Westhouse. Completely forgot about that. Do you know a man named Brian Westhouse? Westhouse? That old goat? Yes, unfortunately. What would you with him? I need to find him. He gonna get me home. I do not know where he lives. I God damn it. somewhere on the outskirts of the city by the sea, but I cannot tell you any more than that. Damn it, Tobias. Who'd know about Westhouse? His whereabouts? I do not understand what you would with him. He is rude, uncultured, and ignorant. A black man calling a person ignorant? I know what that means. Well, I do not know where he lives or frequents, but someone at the market may. He trades merchandise there, and I think he collects naps of the Northlands. Oh. Okay, I know just the guy. What do you know about Cortez? Your mentor? What has he told you about himself? Literally nothing. Not much. Nothing, in fact. He's a complete mystery to me. To learn something about someone, the best way to go about it is to ask them yourself. We have asked. There's nothing I can He's do. given us nothing. But who is he? Nothing. He is who he is. What he is. If he has not told you himself, then perhaps he does not wish you to know. It would be improper for me to divulge his secrets. Well, that's rude. You're as bad I mean, as he, is. he sent me to no another world, for God's sake. It's just frustrating. I understand. The next time you see him, tell him what you have told me. Maybe he will tell you the truth, maybe he will not. It is his choice to make. Damn it, Cortez. Um, Do you mind if I ask you some questions about depends our Depends on how many questions there are, because I might just move I ahead. Try my best to answer I did spend a long time just paper. sitting there listening to him ramble on. What's Mercuria like? I have lived in this city all my life, and still it amazes me what a diverse, exciting, and wonderful place it is. Many have called Mercuria the jewel of the Northlands, and they are right. But it is a diamond in the rough. A city this size can never be flawless. There are always shadows, and people who hide in them. Lately, the shadows have grown and darkened, and I fear for the future. But Mercuria is still a wonderful place to live. I'll have to ask Westhouse about that. What are the Northlands? And in the north, the I guess. The Northlands is a collective term for all the lands north of the Great there Sea. There we go. And south of the border mountains, including Irid, Tyran, and Khorasan. Khorasan? Before, however, the word North Star Wars? was used to describe Anyone? this entire continent, nope. including okay. the territories north of the mountains and the icy waste beyond that. Some still prefer the latter interpretation of the name. And to the people of the Southlands, anyone hailing from north of the Great Sea is a Northlander regardless. Understandable, I guess. Tell me a little about Irene. I read means both unification and assembly in high tongue, and many still call I read the unified country, even though it is an age and a half since the lands of the north joined together in alliance. I read stretches from the plains of Nedra in the north to the Great Sea in the south, and from the territories of Tyran in the west to the thick woodlands in the east. It is populated by humans and Dolmare, Tyran and a number of other races. It is even said that a tribe of Venar have a ring of trees in Riverwood, though I'm not sure that is anything but a myth. You know what I love? 
I love when games are like, hey, here's a big world full of all this. We're not gonna see it. It's like, here's here's our world. Here's all these races, all these continents and lands. Here's the history. You're not gonna see it, but it's there. I love that. Makes the world feel bigger. It's like um. Thanks it's like what they did in uh, what was it called? I Dishonored. When they, when you go through all the books, it tells you about the other nations and all that, and you don't you don't see anything about it, but they're there. Uh, voice house for that. So I like I'll that. see you later. But yeah, I like I like that. It's a nice touch. So, and I do believe you. I am certain. A good seventy-five percent of what he just said, I'm never going to encounter. But I like that. It's there. It's a nice touch. Makes the world feel alive. Okay, map man. What's up? Maps. I'm looking for Brian Westhouse. Brian West of House. Yes, that's exactly maps. what I said. I've never heard of it. Maps. It's a man, not a place, Mr. Brian Westhouse. I would most certainly remember a name as queer as that, and I don't. Get your maps while they're fresh. Um. Bye. Maps, get your fresh maps here. Okay. Right to get the second one half price. Um. Huh. What did you say I should see about West House? The map merchant at the market may know. There is one thing I must tell you, however. Few would know West House by his real name. Oh. In the city, he is known as the Rolling Man. You see, that would have been helpful. Strange two-wheeled vehicle. A most A dreadful bike? and dangerous contraption if I ever saw one. A bicycle? Yeah. Perhaps. It has a grotesque appearance, much like the West House himself. Ouch. Okay, thank you. So now... I'll see you later. Bye, Tobias. You keep telling me so, and I do believe you. Okay, you. Maps! Can you tell me where the Rolling Man lives? Maybe, maybe not. Why? Because I need to find him. Sorry, guild rules. Uh, I'm not allowed to divulge any personal information about my customers. Maps! I didn't know there was a... Uh, what's, what's the term? Confidentiality agreement between map sellers. I really need to know where the rolling man lives. Sorry, can't do it. Please? Pretty please. That's at April. No, no, no. Blot you your, blot your eyes at him. That doe-eyed look. Don't. Ah, uh, blasted be the balance. You're giving me that doe-eyed look, aren't you? Yeah, she is. I There's my girl. Can't tell you though. I got maps. Damn it, man. Please. Please tell me where the rolling man lives. No, oh, can't do, miss. Uh, I can't divulge personal information about God damn my customers. It. Oh, what's this? You're late again, and you know what else? You're fired! Give me back the delivery list and get your sorry blue skin elsewhere! Hired hell. Bah! Never hire a Dalmari to do a human So that's job. a Dalmari. Hang on, was that technically racist? Get your blue skin out of here. That's... That's technically racist. Or at least insensitive. What are you gonna do now without a delivery boy? I hire a new one, of course. Uh, blasted be the balance. That means I'll have to pay the damn fee to the Guild of Merchants, damnation. Maybe I could help you out. You? How? I'm quick, honest. And reliable, and I've got a lot of experience in the service industry. 
I wouldn't go that far. I mean, sure, coffee shop. If the Guild of Merchants don't find out, I won't tell them if you don't. Granted, it is Venice, and it is a um, college campus city, basically, a college campus town. So there's going to be a lot of people going in and out of coffee shop daily. I'll take the job if you want me. Agreed. Maybe you'll even bring in some new business. Here's the delivery list for today and your first map. It's for the captain of the White Dragon. Nebeve, I think his name is. You'll find him in the harbor. White oh, and Dragon. Have the customer sign the delivery list. The guild are sticklers for protocol. No signature, no money, no new jobs. Bye now. Maps, fresh, detailed, life-saving maps. Is that the pirate guy that I spoke to? Oh, it was in the harbour and there was only one person I could talk to at the harbour. And there's things have changed. Oh wow, that quick travel. Nice day for it. Not really, no. Is this the white dragon? You know what? That's what the big it's a white dragon. letters on the prow spell out. So, yeah. What do you think? It's I'm a looking prow. for the captain. Is he around? What would you with the captain of the white dragon? I would seduce him. I have a delivery him. for him. A map from the map merchant at the temple market. Or that. Hi. I be Captain Horatio Nebevea, the white dragon. Fastest vessel there ever was. Horatio. Hand the map over, girl. This doesn't seem like the Charles type of world that would have a Horatio. Soon, and I can leave this accursed harbor for sunnier shores. First, you've got to sign this. Okay, I can't make. Okay, never mind. Well, okay, here's the map then. He's gonna try to jip me, isn't he? Thank you. There's an errand for your trouble. Ooh. Can I get Birdman now? Now, nah. is that bronze? It's a single iron coin. Iron. Well, now, okay. I think we've used iron for currency in a long, long time. Sign this, please. What is it? I need your signature to confirm that you've received the map. Map. What map? Oh, don't you dare do that. The one I just gave don't you. you dare do that. Oh, that one. Sorry, I never put my signature on a piece of paper. Why? Why not? Brings bad luck to give a piece of yourself in that manner. A signature has untold powers. It's part of your soul. I can't How? say my soul. Who told you that signing a slip of paper is bad for your soul? I'm from Guyenne, and we're I don't know what that people. is. Our souls are in balance with our bodies, and the great Mojal has taught us not to endanger this balance. Signing my name, giving a piece of myself in that manner, breeds corruption and imbalance within. You're not selling your body, and for God's sake. This is the Mojal off no end. And that's why you choose to make my life difficult? Hey, blame organized religion. Oh, I do for a great many things, but this isn't the one. I blame you for this. It's quite a jump, unless you're trying to goad him. You can't write, can you? Pardon? That's what this is all about. You can't write. Uh, oh wow, well, he so can't. What? He actually so what can't. If I can't write. So what if I was born at sea and never spent more than a month ashore ever since? Didn't you say I you've been a, you've been at this shore for more than a month beforehand? Or am I just forgetting that? Look, all you have to do is sign an X next to your name on the list. You can't trick the great Mojal. The Mojal's untrickable. I'll That's trick him right in the face. It's legally binding. I said no. Oh my god. Is there anything I can do to get you to sign? No. Well, yes. But... I can seduce you. 
Look, Captain, I'm desperate here. I really, really need some kind of signature. Seduce him. Well, there's always music. Seduce him with music. What's music got to do with you signing my list? Nothing, but it distracts the mojo. What are you talking about? Why would you need to distract the... the... Mojal? I can't sign when there's a chance the Mojal is watching. Music distracts the Mojal. Ergo, I can sign. But doesn't that mean the Mojal is always distracted? It sounds like the I mean, Santa Claus always is always watching the bait that kids have with their parents the and they're older. Has an eye and an ear for you every know, the mouthy acolyte. kids that think that they and know everything. Straying from the path can bring great wrath upon us. I was that kid at one point, I know, I know that. Of the I'm still that kid. But seriously, maybe you should look into alternative religions? Blasphemy! Besides, I only have to visit the temple once every two years, and the membership fees are quite reasonable. You have to pay to be in a religion? What? Is this a thing I don't know about? I, I, don't, I can't imagine that's a thing I don't know about. I can't imagine that that's actually a thing. So, if I play some music, you'll sign? Aye. I'll give you that much. Alright. I'll be back. I don't doubt it for a second. Alright, let's go. What was... Oh. Alright, come on. Oh. Um. I wouldn't feel too comfortable about sailing anywhere in that. It's like a toy boat for children. It's a lighthouse. The blue. F I don't think I was meant to come here, but okay. It's a quaint, old-fashioned treasure chest. I wonder if there's anything exciting inside it, like doubloons or whatever they're called. Orange, most likely. The old man and the uh, ocean. Looks like a lifetime at sea has left its tracks on him. Better a lifetime at sea than a day in a dress and a brazier. Um. Does that mean he'd rather be a sailor than a woman? He'd rather. I. Uh, okay. Hello, old man. I got me no treasure, and I got me no map of no buried treasure. I just be an old sailor with no ship, so leave us be. Um. Okay. What are you doing? Mending nets, of course. What it look like I be doing? I have no idea. I'm not well versed in maritime customs. Mar what? Ah, yes, mean sea life, do you not? Ah, the smell of the salty sea, the lapping of waves on your ship, the spray of cold water on your face, plump maidens in every part. Indeed. I, I tell yous, I be having stories about the sea. Do you now? Will this get me an instrument from your chest? Care to share some of your maritime stories with me? Marwat? Ah, tales of the sea, right? Sure, sweetie, I'd be happy to. Now, what stories be I wanted to hear then? Any tale of your exciting adventures will do. Um, um, I, I, be having um, I get the feeling to tell. this has Maybe nothing to do with what I'm meant to be doing. If he'd be interested, it'd be a tale of grand romance. Just up your alley, be sure of it. Sure. Sure, that sounds My like a fine story. My mouth's fighting me there for some reason. Aye. It'd be near on 50 years ago that I was a mate on a sturdy old lady called the Three-Legged Whore. Wait, what? The what? What do I be saying? She was called the Thrifty Horse, she was. Aye, that be her name. The Whistle Watsit. 
Well, uh, you don't remember the ship's name, do you? Uh, anyways, I be a young mate then, and we be anchored in Mount Herva, the grand western port of the once glorious Bakshivan Empire. I be having ship leave until the following evening, and it be me first visit to that exotic and dangerous port. So I sits out to have a look around. Now, bear in mind that Mount Herba be ruled by a mock. What's that? Like all large Bakshivan cities. In principle, the mock be having to report to and pay half of all taxes to the emperor in Port Altaban. But with the Bakshivan Empire having all but crumbled into pieces, the provinces to be having the power to do pretty much as they be wanting. Err, uh, and so I sets out on me own that day to explore the city. Now, bear in mind that all the cities of the Southlands... Oh, okay, it just, it just cuts the black. All right, then. ...be me adventures in the once glorious empire of Bakshiva. And that be how I meet me bird bird. How I see Deuce and the romance the Mock's daughter. How I be chased from Mount Herba by the Mock's soldiers. And how I be the first man to walk across the desert of Shangagriel, the wastelands. And how I be getting this awful rash on. Ah, girl, you do not be sleeping, do you? Oh, she do. What? 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 Sleeping? N no, 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 no. Just concentrating really hard. Err. Uh... Good story, though. Solid, solid material. Ever considered doing a book? Aye, but the agents in Marcuria be bloodthirsty vampires with no thought but to milk your life's blood. True. Oh. Publishers are like so that. So they take an outrageous commission then? No. They actually be bloodthirsty vampires with a penchant for biting your neck when you ain't be looking. Oh. Huh. Vampires exist in this world? I don't know why I'm surprised. Anyway, so what's in the chest? What have you got in that chest? What chest? More nets, probably. The one you're sitting on. Oh, that be no chest, girl. That be me stool. I me stool carved into the uncanny likeness of a chest. Why? But what's in it? No priceless treasure, that be for sure. Nothing, nothing at all. It be empty. No, really. What's in the chest? Oh, live snakes. Aye, snakes that'll bite your face off before you have time to jump. Better leave them be, then. It's like your pawn stash or something, isn't it? I'm still curious about that chest. Right, right. I be telling you, curse the balance, girl. You never give up, do you? You're a second person to tell I me that. I having no real treasure in here, like I told you. Be where I keep me personal articles and things I be picking up now and then on me travels. And me bed, it's where I be keeping me bed before I be losing him. I be a stupid, stupid old man. He be my best friend. I ain't nobody else around to talk to, you see, on account of him being a talking bird. I think I know where your talking bird is. What happened to your talking bird? I be... He cheated out of him. Aye, that cups handler on the market yep. be cheat me in a full game of cups, and I be having to give me bird up to try to win me money back. And what happened? He be taking me bird when I be choosing the wrong cup. Aye, my best friend taken from me. Cursed to be the balance. It be all lonesome now. I can get you your bird back. The worst part is that me bird is now a prize to be won. A prize in a cups game. Beat the handler thrice and you win a prize of your choice, me poor bird. What's your bird's name? Bird. 
Oh. Oh, are we seeing you then? Ah, you youngins who be always running around. Everything be so important. He's been having no time to sit down and take a breath. So go. Be not wasting your time here with me. 